So one of the questions that we get asked a lot is uh, why we chose our glassware. And when you talk about uh, craft beer, you want to start talking about um, how you're paying a premium price for a premium product. You're going to want to get a premium experience. And if we go through all the trouble and all the hard work making the beer um, taste and smell the way we want it to taste and smell, um, the aromatics, the, the, the flavors, um, if you pour it into a glass that can't help accentuate some of those uh, characteristics, then a lot, of, a lot of that can be lost. So most bars and restaurants use what we call the shaker glass or the shaker pint. Um, everybody knows it as a pint glass, but it was originally developed um, to go on the other end of a, of a shaker uh, so that whenever you make a cocktail, you're gonna shake it on, you're gonna use it to, to, to shake, the, uh, shake the cocktail. Um, so whenever craft beer came on the scene, one of the things that they wanted to do was they wanted to be able to get into bars and restaurants, uh, but they don't want to have to make the bar or restaurant invest in a whole lot of other stuff that they already didn't have. So they said, well, why not just uh, use the shaker glass, um, just pour the beer in the shaker glass and you've already have, you already have it anyways. The other thing about the shaker glass is it's, it's very cheap uh, and it's very durable and it stacks very nicely. So there's not a whole lot of real estate in a lot of bars and restaurants, so they stack. If they break, they're not out a whole lot of money. They're normally about a dollar, a dollar a, a glass um, or less, and uh, uh, they're readily available. Um, at Paradise, we don't use shaker glasses uh, because we know that our beer uh, tastes better and smells better. Um, the aromatics that we work so hard to put into the beer are actually better received out of a glass that accentuates the aromatics. So we chose the tulip glass. Now.